Brooke is one of the World War One poets. Though nowadays we tend to think of him as the guy who wrote the poetry before the war started going downhill, and then Wilfred Owen and Siegfried Sassoon wrote about how awful uh, the war was. Uh, so Brooke is the innocence before the innocence lost. Brooke has never been forgotten. He's just always been held up as the naive public school boy who never lived because he died in 1915 and never lived to see how wrong he was. That's somewhat unfair to Brooke, who was a more interesting man and a more interesting poet than that myth suggests. And this play is about going backwards and looking at the, in very much in quote marks, real Brooke and how that developed into the Brooke the myth. Brooke's personality is very much a hall of mirrors. Uh, he knew that he was a number of different people, some of which were poses. And it was very difficult, even for Brooke, to tell where the reality began and the pretense left off. Uh, he wrote to a friend, I aspire to be all things to all men. And there's no doubt that he used this chameleonic aspect of his nature to charm people, to flirt with people, and to get his way. There was the pose of the poet, the pose of the free thinker, uh, the pose in the event of the warrior, the pose of the lover, and the pose of the tortured soul, which was very much the reality. The centenary of Brooks' death is 23rd of April 2015, and it seemed the perfect moment within four years of, of war commemoration to look again at Brook, uh, to give him his due, in, in fact. A story that, uh, that remarkably hasn't yet been told on the British stage. 